Well, the Friends of the Boulevard organization is pushing the Montrose Boulevard Improvement Project in hopes of trying to get it rebuilt for more mobility options throughout the community. However, many residents are frustrated, saying the project has been paused by the current mayor's administration. CW39 Houston's Kara Willis is live from Montrose with a look at some of the concerns and talks with some of the residents there, too. Good morning, Kara. Tell us more. Good morning, Sharon. This is an issue here along Montrose Boulevard that we're standing behind right now that many residents here have had some issues with for some time and they're frustrated and they say that they haven't been heard. We heard in our seven o'clock hour two concerned residents and I also have two others with me here. Now I have Joseph and I also have Valeria with me this morning and they're going to kind of answer some more questions about their personal concerns and their hope to get out of what they're going to get out of speaking at City Hall today, right? So let's start this off with you, Joseph. Tell us how long you've been living in Montrose. Hi, so uh, I've been living in Montrose for about a year now. I actually live uh, in the fourth ward, so I'm just a couple blocks from where we are right now. Okay, so I hear that we all have the same um, concerns when it comes to Montrose Boulevard, but some have specific concerns. Like I talked to Alexander earlier, he said this crosswalk that's on the side of us is a big something he's been fighting for, but what about you? Honestly, I mean, we could talk about this crosswalk again. Uh, like I said, I live just a couple blocks from here in the fourth ward. Um, I like to bike a lot. Um, there's a Kroger uh, on West Great just over there. And so usually when I bike from where I live to the grocery store, I have to go through this crosswalk. Um, and frankly, it's dangerous. The cars don't like to yield. Um, the infrastructure that is there to have the cars yield is, I think, outdated and a little old. And so uh, I just don't feel that safe crossing usually. It's also for you, Valeria. I mean, um, Friends of the Boulevard, I hear, has only been a group since yeah. maybe a week, but what led up to this? Yeah, I think that we really wanted to highlight a little bit more of the diverse voices of the people who use this boulevard. So, for example, we do have the West Gray Center that centers um, a lot of disability rights and, um, you know, activities for the dis disabled community. And the sidewalks here on Montrose Boulevard are not safe for the disabled community. In fact, that a lot of them correct they're not ADA compliance um, and me you know I as someone who is able-bodied I do walk through this boulevard to commute to work and I oftentimes have to maybe go into the street and not use the sidewalk because the sidewalk is very uneven or it's unsafe so I think that we just wanted to highlight those voices a little bit more I know there's been some pushback on the project by a small group of homeowners um, and we just believe that there's a lot more people in support of the project that maybe haven't been able to organize the same way so we decided to organize well, thank you both so much for talking to me about this. Again, like I, I hear there are many residents with these same issues and they will be at City Hall today at 2 p.m. in hopes of getting a different response from the mayor. We'll keep you updated on CW39.com. Kerrigan, over to you.